Setting up a local WordPress environment is actually pretty simple. Well, howdy. My name is Sanjay. I'm a UI UX designer and developer based out of Franklinton, North Carolina. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up your local WordPress environment using local. Say that five times fast. All right, so as we get started, I will say that this video is not necessarily meant to show you all the ins and outs of creating environments or, or even to explain all the details. I do have a detailed post down in the description, so go ahead and check that one out. What we're gonna do is download local and get your first environment set up. So all you need to do is to go to localwp.com and you can hit this uh, download button and when you hit this, you can choose your platform. In my case, it's Mac. And then you can put in your details and hit Get Now. It will then prompt you to go ahead and download everything. If you are having trouble, let me show you how to get it after you have already created your account. Now, I am in my local account online. So that's hub.localwp.com. And I can download the latest version. Now we're gonna go through instructions on how to do it with Mac, but you can follow um, local WP's instructions on almost any operating system. So let's go ahead and hit download local. Now I'm in my downloads folder and in here I'm gonna hit double click. I'm gonna drag this into applications. So in my applications folder, I can go to local right here, double click that. All right, it's gonna say, hey, this is downloaded from the internet. Do you wanna, are you sure you wanna do this? And say open. So now it's gonna walk you through some terms and conditions. So uh, biggest lie on the internet. I have read and <laughs> agree to these terms. Okay, is it okay to enable error reports? I usually turn off error reporting. If you're into it and you wanna be part of that program, you can. And now it's gonna prompt me to create a free account. Uh, but since we've already created an account, I can go in here and log into local and it's going to say hey you want to you know log in using your account and say yes log in okay it's going to take me back to local and it'll it'll take you through some of these screens about what's new some of the additional features you can add uh, for now we'll just hit this red x or uh, that X up there, up at the top. So now that you're at this screen, uh, one thing that I suggest that you do is you go up here to your preferences, okay? And once you're in your preferences here, go to site defaults. And what you'll see here is a sites path. Now sites path is where local installs all of your local WordPress environments. And that will make sense here in just a moment. But what I suggest you do is go into your documents folder. And I usually like to create a little WordPress folder here. And um, that WordPress folder is where all my uh, WordPress environments live. So that's, um, that's that. So what we'll do is you'll hit browse. And uh, in here, we're going to go to documents, WordPress. OK, hit open. Great. And we'll hit apply. Groovy. All right, so hit this X here. Now, uh, to create a site is super duper easy. All you need to do is hit create a new site. Uh, you can also hit this green button down here to add a local site, but since this one is right in our face, we'll just hit that, hit create new site. I'm gonna say this is our groovy uh, new site. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now here's what's cool. You can hit these advanced options. What it'll do, okay, it's gonna create a new site uh, for you. And this is how you actually access the domain and I'll show you all that in a second. And then you'll see here that it updated my path and it's gonna create a new folder called groovy new site in that WordPress directory. So that's really cool. Creating a site from Blueprint, you don't have to worry about this. If you have a Flywheel account, you can actually create templates and then use that template to speed up your uh, local development, but we won't use that for this video. So we'll hit continue. Okay, the next step is to set up the environment. And I suggest you just keep these settings as is. Now, if you're going to a provider other than Flywheel or WP Engine, uh, what you can do is actually hit custom and set up a different server configuration and things like that. I don't really recommend doing that for this um, process, but you can if you need to. So I'm gonna hit continue. All right, and uh, never do this, but I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. Okay, admin, and I'm gonna enter a password. 
Uh, never do this, meaning don't don't ever use a username of admin. Never do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so I hit the password here, and that's password. Never do this either. Never, ever do this. <laughs> uh, and then you can also update your email for, this, for the sake of this video. We're not going to worry about that. Advanced options here, you'll see... Um, it'll say, hey, is this a WordPress multi-site? Um, we're going to say no. Uh, that requires some additional setup, so we're not going to worry about that. And hit add site. It's going to prompt you for um, a login here in just a minute. Okay. So what it's doing is it's making a change to your um, your host file. So, so check this out. Let's go to iTerm real quick before we do all this. Always know why you're putting your password in. Okay. All right, so now in iTerm here, I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to my ETC folder at the root of my computer, and inside of ETC, there's a little file called hosts. All right, so in hosts, what you're going to see here is um, this is where local or docker or any of any 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 time you want to create any sort of dot local domain to only use on your computer it's not live on the internet anywhere it's just on your computer which you'll see in a minute um anytime you do that you need to update your host file and local does that for you okay i put in my password now and um it's going to continue installing WordPress here. Now let's go back into that um, host file just so you can see it. Okay, now you'll see that it's added a whole new block here and there's your groovy new site and all this. So basically all this is saying is that this is the IP address, which um, this is a, a local, like a local port on your computer. Okay, so in here, um, you'll see groovy new site dot local, and that's actually where you'll go to access your site. So for now, we'll just hit um, exit out of here. Okay, so here is your new site. How cool is that? Your new site is all spun up and everything. Okay, and you can hit open site. That's really great. Here's your groovy new site. Wow, how cool is that? You can also go in and you can log into your new site. How Nifty is that super easy, super fast. Now, one thing that you'll notice it says, ah, not secure. Now, listen, it's okay to have an like an insecure, uh, like no SSL installed on on your local machine. I wouldn't suggest you do that on staging or production. Um, but if you do want to get SSL set up, what you'll do is go back into local, and in here you're gonna hit trust. Now I have um, put in my password and what you'll notice is this uh, little um, issue up here. It says, hey, we ran into an issue trusting the SSL certificate. That typically happens on my Mac computers. I have both an M1 and an Intel and they, they both have the same issue. Um, it's not a big deal though. You can click learn more and it will show you how to do it. Local has some really good documentation on it. But just to show you how to diagnose this issue, um, what you want to do is go to keychain access and then within your system keychains, what you're going to want to do, move this over here, is you're going to want to search for your site. So in this case, it's groovy, groovy. All right. And uh, I need to search all items so I can see it. Okay. Now you can see this is the SSL certificate that is installed in your computer. So you double click that. Let's bring this over here. Okay, you can close details, you don't need that. Um, under trust, what you're gonna wanna do is hit always trust. So we're gonna hit X and it will prompt me for my password. And let's try this one more time. Open site, and now it's automatically taking me, probably because of caching, to the insecure part. All right, here we go. And now you can see here's the little uh, lock button. Now on Firefox, um, unfortunately, Firefox doesn't always like, let me show you, doesn't always like that um, SSL certificate. You can go to advanced and go and accept the risk and continue and you'll it'll take you here, but it's always going to prompt you that there's a little flag here, uh, which is fine. Um, technically, you should never have a self-signed certificate, all this other stuff, but 
Anyways, now how simple was that? Super fast to get set up with local, and I love it because it speeds up my development workflow. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.